Hey guys, it's Alyssa from Online Fabric Store. Floor poofs are a really great addition to bohemian or eclectic decor. They're really trendy right now, and this one's super great because you use an old tire, which would otherwise sit in a dump for years and years. With a little elbow grease, you can make your own upcycled floor poof. So let's get started. The materials you will need are a tire, two yards of upholstery fabric, felt or a dust cover to match, cushion wrap, a round pillow the size of your tire, jute webbing, pro stick high strength web adhesive, scissors, a staple gun, a button, a webbing stretcher, and tufting twine and a tufting needle. The first thing you're going to want to do is clean your tire. It doesn't have to be perfect, but chances are your tire is gross. So get some soapy water and give it a good wipe down. Then you want to make the seat of your poof. Spray adhesive where you would like to place the webbing and then staple down about two inches from the end of the webbing with about five or six staples. Then fold the webbing back over on itself and staple it again with about five or six staples. Cross over to the other side of the tire and attach the webbing to a stretcher. Stretch it gently. This won't be as tight as you usually stretch webbing because you don't want to deform the tire. Then spray and staple it in place just like you did before. Do this across the whole tire. I ended up using three pieces of webbing. Attach three more pieces of webbing in the opposite direction by weaving them through the first three pieces that you stapled down. Spray, staple, fold, and then staple again the ends of every piece. Flip the tire over and place one strip of webbing on the back side directly in the center. This will help you tuft the poof at the end. Lightly spray the top of the webbing seat with adhesive and place the pillow on top. Then flip the tire over on the Dacron and tightly wrap it around the edges and secure it to the bottom with staples. The piece of padding that I used was not wide enough to fit around the whole tire, so I crisscrossed two pieces to cover the whole thing. When you're attaching the padding to the tire, you're going to want to start on all four sides and then work your way around. Place the fabric right side down and flip the seat of the tire onto it. Pull the fabric and staple it to the inner edge of the bottom. Staple on all four sides of the tire. Then continue going around the tire and placing staples opposite of each other, making sure to distribute the fabric evenly. It's really important with this technique that you distribute the fabric evenly and do not create any folds while you're stapling. I will not be creating any folds or seams because I want my fabric to be ruffled around the edges, but you can create nice folds to take care of the excess fabric or measure and sew the fabric into a circular shape. Cover your button with fabric. See our how to cover buttons with fabric tutorial for details. String the button onto the tufting twine and then loop the ends through the needle. Then stick the needle directly through the center of the poof and through the piece of webbing you placed on the bottom of the tire. Also, take some cotton, webbing, or a scrap piece of fabric and string it onto the needle and twine so your knot won't slip through the hole in the webbing. Knot one end of the twine on itself and put the other end through the loop before tightening. This will create a slip knot so you can pull your button really nice and tight. You're going to want to pull on your button as tightly as you can. I had Greg help me with this step by pushing in the button while I pulled on the twine and then tied it tight. Put a few knots in there so it won't go anywhere. Cut out a piece of felt that's the same size as your tire. Spray around the edges of the felt and stick it to the bottom. And now your floor poof is complete. Thanks for watching this OFS project. Like and subscribe to our channel for more crafting videos, tips, and tricks. See you next time.